Okay. Today I'm going to test the new motor that I put on my helicopter after having uh, had the original one that came with uh, the brushless motor kit that I got from uh, AliExpress.com uh, having the the uh, actual pinion gear uh, wear off. Um, I'm still using the same uh, hardware that came with uh, the brushless kit I installed in my previous video. The only difference is that now I'm using this uh, new motor, so it is a uh, E-Flight 370 Park uh, brushless motor. This motor fit perfectly on the original uh, helicopter base, so you don't need to do nothing to actually fit this motor on it. Even though if you haven't got the brushless kit that I show in my previous video, you could still use this motor because uh, it, it actually fit perfectly uh, down there where the, where the motor is supposed to go. Um, for whoever hasn't uh, get the brushless kit, um, I just figured that it's really easy to uh, make this helicopter brushless. Um, all you need is your ESC and uh, um, the ESC has uh, uh, five cables, three that goes to the motor and two that goes to the actual power plant. Well, the three that goes to the motor, you could just um, install them in uh, whatever order. You don't need to follow a, a specific order. Uh, after you install the cables from the ESC to the motor and you test it, just check the... Again, after you connect the cables from the ESC, uh, the three cables from the ESC to the actual motor, you just uh, run the motor and uh, check the rotation direction. If it's rotating uh, in, an, uh, in a wrong direction, all you have to do is just um, disconnect two of the three cables that come from the ESC and just uh, switch their position. That is going to immediately correct the motor rotation and you're gonna get the, the rotation on the direction uh, you're gonna need the motor to go to run your uh, your actual rotor. Okay. Um, again, if you haven't if you haven't buy this uh, brushless kit, um, it's easy to convert this brushless. Again, those three cables that come from the ESC, you just go ahead and connect them any order as I said um, to the three three that, that that's on the motor. Then the two cables that are supposed to go to the power source. All I did was using the same uh, hardware, as I said, from the previous uh, brushless kit, all you have to do is just those two connect, try to make the connection and just uh, use this same two that the original motor has. And also, and you don't need to do, to do any, any uh, rocket science connections nor nothing. All you have to do is use the same connector connector that the original motor used to power your ESC. On that way, again, you don't need to uh, try to figure how am I gonna get power for this ESC or nothing. Just using the same uh, connection that was uh, supposed to be used for uh, with, with the brush motor on the original setting. And then the last cable that comes from the ESC is the one that actually goes right here and is th this connector is supposed to be empty when you're using a brush motor but um, this helicopter PCB was designed to make it a uh, brushless so this connector right here sorry about that sorry about the camera movement uh, this one the one in the very uh, far front end is the one you're gonna use to connect the ESC. So then you're gonna have the whole setting already installed. The cable from the ESC 
that that's gonna control the throttle the one that's supposed to power the ESC that goes on the original uh, connector and the three cables that come from the ESC to the motor and of course the motor again this motor fit one on one on this helicopter another little move that I did was thanks to one of my uh, my friends here in YouTube um, is that uh, now instead of using the stock battery and using this uh, uh, 2000 uh, milliamps 7.4 uh, battery uh, that I got from uh, Hobby King and it's the Turnigy Nanotech 2.0 and as you notice this battery comes with the JST connector so you're not gonna need to do any fancy connections anyway and in order to install that battery so that's larger than the stock one you need to uh, just make a small cut on the base and just remove the battery holder that was supposed to be here and that way you could slide freely your battery into the battery compartment and also there's a battery holder that's supposed to be in the side in the back of the base that one also you need to you need to cut that one off so you can fit your battery and then once you put the battery there all you need is a couple rubber bands and that's it so now I'm gonna test fly uh, my helicopter with this new engine uh, I mean motor and uh, yeah that's what it is oh and uh, since this motor it ironically gets hotter than the than the brush one um, I follow some other guys in the uh, here in YouTube advice and I just drill a hole on the canopy <laughs> it's not that round anyway but uh but it, it, it's gonna it's gonna do the job later on uh, I fix it and I make it prettier and of course I just uh, put that little sticker showing that uh, now my helicopter is powered by a uh, by an e-flight motor okay so let's go for a test flight right now
lopaviță. Nu lopaviță. Ce să Ok. As you notice, as you notice, uh, with this motor, this thing has an outstanding and incredible uh, buzz of boost of power. I mean, today is really windy, and it was really, really hard for me not to crash today, as you notice in this video. Um, it was kind of scary. That that's the way I could uh, describe that uh, the amount of power this thing this thing give uh, the helicopter. So all you have, I'm, go I'm gonna have to trim this thing. Probably set the throttle uh, a little bit lower because uh, with a hundred percent throttle, this thing really is uh, lightning. Um, well, I'm gonna keep uh, I'm gonna keep uh, trimming this thing. So. Uh, Thanks for watching.